Hey, good morning. We're back out at the hangar. It's the weekend. We're pretty deep into our project at this point. Just to give you a quick update, pulled out all the, uh, all the old gauges and just been sorting through the wiring under the panel. The right side's totally gutted. And we've been pulling out fistfuls of old wiring, stuff that's just uh, been in there for who knows how long. Don't need it anymore. Still got to sort through some stuff on the engine. Pulling all the old temperature probes and senders and going through and pulling the uh, RPM cable and all the old probes. Gonna go and clean everything off. It's, it's a little oily. There's, there's an oil leak I'm, I'm working on uh, sorting out. So got to deal with that. Got to get the fuel line closed back up. So, definitely got a few tasks this morning. Unfortunately, I can only chip away at this a couple hours at a time during uh, off hours or free time. So table's kind of filled up with clutter. We got old gauges that are being either given away or sold. We got all the new stuff, which is still mostly in, in packaging and such. So, all right, well, enough talking. Back to work. Thanks for watching. All right, so I love me a smoking gun. Um, what I'm talking about is I had a backfire at idle and it was only when I was leaned out for taxi, which uh, I always lean out pretty aggressively. So I figured there might be an intake leak. And sure enough, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, on this intake manifold right here, I got this heat shield and there it is. I found a loose hose clamp, so that's cool. Pretty happy I found that. There was also a little bit of fuel staining underneath it, which uh, tells me I was definitely leaking right there. Making pretty good progress, pulling the sensors out. This is the oil temperature line, which that's gone. I don't know if you can see it. So this is coming out and it's being replaced with a new sender. So that's the old original oil temperature sensor probe. It's coming out. There we go. And here's the new one that we're gonna replace it with. So that's just gonna connect, uh, you can see that electrically to the new system. All right, the oil temperature sender is in. That was a lot of fun. The typical can't fit the wrench. So I had to flip it over and turn it like a hundred times before I got it seated. All right, so just a brief overview. Um, let's see, we got the oil temperature installed. We got the uh, fuel flow transducer, it's installed. Got to figure out the oil pressure. I guess this is gonna connect uh, this is just a transducer, so it's got to connect to the oil pressure line. We're going to need to get some kind of flared fitting adapter for that. This is what those cylinder probes look like I was talking about. And I got uh, two other temperatures, one for the carb and one for the outside air temp. And I got to install this as well to shunt. Still need to go through and put all the cylinder head temp probes in and all the EGT probes as well, which are going to go into holes like that on the exhaust. I don't know if you can see that thing with the uh, with the cable or the hose coming off it. This thing here, we got to figure out how to delete that. Probably end up putting uh, a cap, just pulling the rest of this cable off. That's the manifold pressure. We got to reconnect that, and then uh, get a hose or a fitting for the back side of the firewall. Lots of work left to do. Uh, still waiting on the fuel senders. We got those. Uh, the fuel tank's capped off. There are the cover plates I made. Underneath the panel, this is where things get kind of exciting. It's hard to see, but it looks like a rat's nest right now. I cut about, I don't know, 100 or more zip ties. You can kind of see where the new gauges are gonna go. I gotta install uh, 
also a box or a you know, control box for the gauges and all the wires are going to feed into that and all this wiring is going to get cleaned up somehow some way you just got to navigate your way through it slowly but surely so that's going to wrap it up for now time to get out of here and maybe come back a little bit later so thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to leave them below One more thing I'd like to address. I've been getting a lot of feedback from viewers, friends, family, anybody who's watching the channel, telling me that they have been enjoying the content and living vicariously through my postings and through my videos. So I thought that was really cool because I can relate. I feel the same way about some of the content that I see out there. But what I did as a result was updated the, the name of this channel to 112 Vicarious Adventures. So 112, if you haven't figured it out, is the last three digits of the tail number on the airplane. So November 92112, that's the official registration. That's the tail number. Uh, when you're flying, they often refer to you as the last three of your tail number. So 112, I thought that was just kind of a neat little, uh, little uh, Easter egg, if you will, to throw into the name. So. Is there gonna be more than 112 adventures to follow? Probably, but in the meantime, uh, the name stuck and we just like it. So there it is, 112 Vicarious Adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already.